Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a solution that I came up with for someone who sent me a request. They had a list of dates and events and they wanted to know the largest date and the associated event with that date that was less than some control date. So we're going to use the max function, if function, and index and match along with creating an array formula in order to come up with the solution. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have six different items here. Could be anything. Could be uh, buildings. Could be you know, construction sites. Whatever. And then I have a date and an event that happened on that date. And then a later date, etc. So I have seven different dates and events. And then I have a control date for each one of these items. And what I want to do is find out by a formula what date is the oldest date that's less than this date and then what's the associated event with that. And here are the formulas that we're going to use. In the answer column we're going to use this max and if formula and in the related event column we're going to use index and match. So let's walk through this and see how it works. So here I'm going to type equals max tab and then I'm going to enter an if statement and my logical test is if this range of values is less than the date that's the control date which is in cell P2. If so then give me that associated date and I'm going to close that if function, close the max function, but because I'm evaluating an array, this has to be entered using control shift enter, not just enter to make it an array formula. So I'll hit control shift enter, and you can see the answer I got was February 2nd. So my control date is 28. So if we look at the dates, 1-1, 1-15, 1-28, 2-2, then 2, 9. So 2, 2 is the closest date to my control date of 2, 8 without going over. So I get that answer. And let's take a look and see how the function works. If I click just inside the if formula and look at logical test here and I hit F9, you'll see I get true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. The first true is the date, the false is the event. And so I have four trues here, which takes me 1, 1, 115, 128, and 2, 2. Those are the four that are less than our control date of 2, 8. Now, if I click inside the max function and select, again, the number and hit F9, you'll see it'll give me the date, false, because there's an event, date, false, date, false, date, false, and then all the rest falses. So what I'm looking for is the max number of those four that meet our criteria of being less than the control date. So again, I'll hit control Z, I'll escape that, and the result of that is February 2nd. I can now copy that down, and if we want to check, for example, the last one, 314 is our control date. If I go backwards, 39 is the first date that I come across that is less than the control date of 314. Now, how do we get the related event to populate in column R? Well, I'm going to use the index and match functions to do that. So if I type equals IND hit tab, my array is going to be the date and event list. I hit comma. The row number, I only have one row, so I can put a one in there, comma. And then the column number, I'm going to use the match function. And I'm going to match the date that I have in Q2 within the range from B2 to O2, comma, and I want an exact match so I can put zero in there. Close my match function, but I don't want the column number of that date. I want to add one to it so it'll go to the next column where the event is. I'll close that off, 
hit enter and you can see for the date of February 2nd the event was DDD and that's what I got there. I copy that down and for 3.9 you can see the event of that is accurate. So by using the max and if function in an array formula and then index and match to find the location of that and go over one column, we've been able to populate the answer and the related event, and that's how you can do that in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.